In this video, you'll see how to enhance recommendations with Amazon Personalize and Generative AI. With this solution, you can generate themes to make recommendations more engaging, leverage metadata to provide context to large language models, and elevate personalization in generative AI applications. Amazon Personalize is a fully managed machine learning service that uses your data to generate item recommendations for your users. Before exploring the generative AI capabilities for this service, let's review some initial setup that has been completed. For demonstration purposes, we've created a dataset group containing movie data. To use Content Generator, the generative AI capability managed by Amazon Personalize, the items dataset must have a textual field for item descriptions and a string column for titles. Let's look at how to create a solution using this dataset. We'll provide a solution name. Next, we'll choose the solution type and a recipe that supports generative AI. Let's continue to the next step. Here we have the option to configure advanced parameters. We'll skip this step. In the final step, we can review the configuration and create the solution. To save time, we've already created a solution and a solution version, which is a trained machine learning model we can use to generate recommendations. We're now ready to begin exploring the generative AI capabilities. Let's create a batch inference job to get batch recommendations from our solution version. We'll select the batch inference job type that uses content generator to output themed recommendations. Next, we'll give the batch inference job a name. Notice that we're using a custom IAM role to allow Amazon Personalize to access our resources. Next, we'll specify the solution that we created for this demo and the number of recommendations per record. Amazon Personalize automatically detected the textual column in our dataset that contains item descriptions. Next, we'll choose the column that contains the item names. This is the data set that we're using. The column we need is named Title. Only the supported columns are listed here. Next, we'll need the Amazon S3 file path for our input data. Notice that the batch input is a JSON file. Let's copy the S3 URI. We'll also need the S3 file path for our output data. Let's create the batch inference job. Now let's skip ahead to when the creation is complete and look at the generated output. We'll open the output file. Using Generative AI, Amazon Personalize generated a descriptive theme for each set of recommended items. For instance, it generated themes such as Spy Movie Marathon and Space The Final Frontier. We can use these themes in our movie recommendations to make them more engaging for users. Now let's look at another Generative AI capability. You can deploy solution versions with campaigns to get real-time recommendations. To see how to do this, let's look at the configuration of this existing campaign. Here we can choose to include items metadata in recommendation results. This additional context can help the large language models generate more relevant content. Let's go to the campaign's detail page. Here we can see we've opted into getting metadata with recommendations. Let's return to the Personalization API tab to test this capability. We'll provide an item ID to generate recommendations for. Next, we'll choose the item metadata we want the recommendations to include. 
Now let's get recommendations. As expected, Amazon Personalize returned the item metadata as part of the inference output. Now let's look at one more generative AI capability. With LangChain integration, you can use the Amazon Personalize custom chain on LangChain to seamlessly integrate Amazon Personalize with generative AI solutions. The Amazon Personalize LangChain extensions library is available on GitHub. The GitHub repository has a README package that includes installation instructions as well as five popular use cases. Let's install the repo. First, we'll clone the repository into a local workspace. Next, we'll switch to the directory where the extensions library is installed. Next, we'll install all the modules in the library. Let's return to the GitHub repo and explore a few of the use cases. Use case 1 sets up the Amazon Personalized Client and invokes the Personalized chain for summarizing results. To begin, copy the first line of code. Next, kick off a Python interpreter and then paste the code. This imports the Amazon Personalize module. Next, provide the recommender ARN. Next, set up a client by configuring the module to use default credentials and look for the recommender ARN in a specific region. Finally, call the client to get recommendations. Optionally, you can configure this call to return metadata. In this case, the recommender was not configured with metadata. If you have a recommender that has been set up with metadata, you can also implement use case 5. First define the metadata column list, and then pass the metadata columns to the chain call with the metadata map. Let's look at one more use case. Use case 3 invokes the Amazon Personalized chain using a custom prompt. First, enter a custom prompt like this one. Next, use the LangChain prompt template to input your variables. Next, specify the Amazon Personalized chain. Provide the client you configured for your recommender or your campaign, as well as your prompt template. Once the chain is configured, Amazon Personalize will be called behind the scenes, retrieve the recommendations, put them into a result tag, and then invoke the prompt to the LLM. You've just seen how to enhance recommendations with Amazon, Personalize, and Generative AI. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.